so wake ups and recovery. How do I feel about them? I think they're okay, but they are extremely boring. And they could be a lot better. They're, they're like the bare minimum of a wake up system in a game. Like, they, could, they couldn't have made it any less interesting. So basically, how the wake up game in this, uh, in One's Justice 2 works is there are two types of knockdowns. There are either knockdowns that you can wake up from, um, which is like most things. So, you know, see with Toga, like if I do something like this, Ida, whether he's in the air or in the ground. So, like, even if I do something like this, if he, like, moves the stick or just presses the jump button, he will recover. And do something that's called recovering. It makes, it's what makes that blue flash. And you get up, if you use this, um, the movement stick, you can get up in a certain direction. Or if you, um, for it, just press A, you'll just recover straight up. And, you know, that's okay, but it's kind of boring. And the other type of knockdown is either optional so off of any type of knockdown you can where there's recovery option you can either choose to do a recovery or you can choose to not recover and take the knockdown and as you can see there Ida just lied down and as you saw he actually goes like kind of he gets a white glow for a bit and that is actually um, wake up invincibility frames it's very common in a lot of fighting games it basically just stops you from having like ridiculous pressure on wake up and like it, it just gives you a little bit of leeway when you're waking up that you're not going to be instantly pressured. So these invincibility frames, if you just take a regular knockdown and decide not to recover, because he could recover there if he wanted to, but Ida can actually press buttons with invincibility for like a brief second. There. So see that? While he had that white glow, he, his first attack actually comes out somewhat invincible, which is really strong, and it makes... Um, wake up buttons really powerful in, the, in this game so yeah that is the basic wake up system of this game and uh, that's that's literally it it's pretty boring so what would i change about it so in terms of um uh oh actually and in terms of knockdown as well there's also things called hard knockdowns like this so this is Ida's hard knockdown not all characters have one but it basically means it's a knockdown with the opponent. I'm, I'm controlling Toga right now, and I literally cannot do any kind of recovery. I just have to lie on the ground and take the hard knockdown. Um, yeah. So, how would I change these wake-ups and make it kind of more interesting? So, I would make it so there are kind of, like, different aspects you can do um, from each wake-up and things you can do to each wake-up. So, in, let's talk about the um, hard knockdowns first, or the invincible wake-ups. So, um, as you know, when you're invincible, you can press buttons and it makes it really easy to wake up with buttons. What I would change about um, uh, hard knockdowns and invincibility is that, because see here, it's actually extremely hard to time your Oki um, with um, hard knock- um, ooh, what am I saying? <laughs> with um, invincible wake-ups, because like you try, you think they're standing, you press your button, oh, it actually whips. And a lot of the time, if you try to do Oki, Oki is just like pressing buttons on wake-ups, so you keep putting pressure on them like as they wake up. So if I do like the two hits, and then I want to go up close, a lot of the time, the opponent can just press buttons, and they will punish you because your first hit whipped, and then, you know, they can just attack straight through whatever you're trying to do, because they're invincible. What I would change to make it a little bit more fair is I think I would make red attacks beat invincibility. They would just completely go through it, so all that period where they're clearly standing up, um, but they have that white glow. See, she's clearly standing here, but like nothing can hit her. I'd make it so red attacks can hit her. And I think that would make it fair. Just a little bit more mix up, so like they have something to think about. So like, see there, she was totally standing. I did a red attack and it completely missed. And that's really annoying to me because I like to try and go for pressure on wake up. And if I do a red attack and it, I like mistime it by like a teensy tiny bit, I'm getting a full combo done on me because, you know, red attacks are very unsafe if they wait. So yeah, and I feel like that would add a little bit more like, you know, rock, paper, scissors, like predicting your opponent's moves on wake up. Because if your opponent's standing there, it seems kind of obvious they'll wake up. Well then, you do a sidestep as you wake up if you, you use the invincibility frames. Because like, if you're trying to mash buttons and they do the red attack, the red attack will actually go through it because you don't have invincibility. But if you think they're going to do a red attack, just do a sidestep on wake up. Oops, <laughs> you can do it faster than that. 
but yeah, you do a sidestep, you miss, um, the red attack misses, and you get to punish them. And if you predict that they are gonna, um, do a sidestep on Wake Up, you do a yellow attack. And if you haven't seen my other video where I talk about what I changed about yellow attacks, I'd actually like to make it so all yellow attacks actually have complete tracking. So there's, they actually, is something that can beat, um, that can beat sidesteps in this game, because I have another video on sidesteps as well, talking about why they are so overpowered and strong. So yeah, if they decide to sidestep, you do a yellow attack. If they think they can block or just mash buttons on wake up, then you do a red attack and it goes through there. And if they're just, you know, blocking, if you decide to block and your opponent <laughs> who's doing okay on you does a yellow attack, you can punish them. So, you know, it just adds, makes it a lot more interesting and, you know, not even, you don't even have to do this, it just makes it, if you want to be a rushdown character, like if I'm playing Ida and I want to rush down my opponent, or if I want to be a rushdown Toga, I can actually have options to be aggressive on Wake Up instead of, because a lot of the time you just have to, like, stand there, blocking, and then attack after you, like, after they're up. Um, so yeah, if you want to be aggressive, you have the options to do that, because, but, you know, you don't even have to do that if you don't want to. Like, a lot of characters like Toga, I'm sure, are happy to just run away on Wake Up and, you know, get their projectiles out. Okay, and in regards to recovery, what would I change about recovery? So, you know how recoveries, there are, like, not 360 degree motion of them, but you can recover in, like, any direction. Oops, I'm not into that. But see, when Toga knocks me down, I can, like, recover left, I can recover right, I can recover forward, back, left, right, all diagonal angles, like, what, whatever the degrees of motion are in this game. You can recover in so many directions, as well as just straight up by pressing A. And um, I'd kind of completely abolish this system because it makes it uh, for characters that like to do resets, like um, I was talking about with Toga before, or actually no, not really with Toga, with characters that really like to have um, recovery resets. So like beating on recovery, like um, regular Deku likes to have those. But if the opponent recovers, it can be really hard to do those because like. They, so, like, if they go forwards, then, you know, you have to, like, make sure you stay, like, not too in front of them. If they recover backwards, you have to chase them down so that, you know, your attack hits them. If they recover sideways, you know, to make sure not to go too far. There's just too many variables with the, um, the recovery system. So I would just make it so when you get hit and you're re able to recover, you either recover up or you recover down. So there's a downwards recovery or an upwards recovery. There's only those two options. And you might think that that's kind of enough to recoveries, but having a down recovery would actually be a huge advantage, because a lot of people um, really don't like being in the air against a lot of characters. So when they when they do get hit by things, a lot of people would really appreciate just being able to recover down and get to the ground as soon as possible. Um, so yeah, and that would also be really beneficial to characters like regular Deku, who like to do recovery resets, like after his quirk 2, and chase down the opponent when they do their recovery, um, he only has to predict whether they're going up or they're going down. If he thinks that they're going to go up, he can jump into the air. It's kind of hard to show, especially since I don't have anyone here helping me, but if the opponent wants to cover up, actually that wasn't even a recovery. But okay, pretend this is a recovery, Ida jumps, and I jump, we both went up, and I get to hit him. And if he went down, I don't jump, and I, like, get to hit him. So you have, you can get those recovery resets a bit easier, and there's, like, a lot less, um, variability. And it's not like it's a 50-50 either way. Like, on recovery, you can still do yellow attacks and stuff, so it's not like you just have to guess which recovery or you get into another full combo. Um, because there are still ways to get out of those recovery resets. It just makes them a lot more easy for characters that do like to, you know, try and get extra damage that way. And the final thing I would change about recoveries is having recovery attacks. I don't know why this isn't a thing. It just feels like something that would make sense. So like, why did I do that? So if I hit Ida with this, oh, don't get all splat, please. <laughs> okay, um, if I do something like this, and Ida recovers, I feel like he should be able to cancel his recovery. Like every character should have one ab ability or quirk ability that they can cancel their recovery into. Like maybe Ida, like let's say his recovery and he cancels it into this. And that would just make it like a lot more interesting, um, like wake up situation. So like if they recover up, or, like maybe and they just want to mash buttons. Like they recover up, they mash their buttons. Obviously, you get to, you know, you get to beat them if you predict correctly. But if the opponent is being really good at um, beating your recovery, and if you just want to recover safely, 
or like have something to contest whatever they're doing on recovery. Maybe they're really annoying you, and you want just something that you can do con to contest all of their recoveries. Um, you know, do a recovery. So pretend like, oh, I just got hit by a combo. I recover up, and it gets cancelled into like I don't know. I think for Eda it'd be good to like his quirk too. Like cancel and jump back, and then do this. So if the opponent like missed times their re um, recovery reset or anything, they like it misses and Ida hits them with this kick. I think it just would be really good and because really a lot of people really don't like how they get um, hit by let. Uh, hit by things like consistently after recovering and it feels like you're just like never safe even after you recover but um and this would actually also really fix a lot of the um, uh, um annoying bad parts about the game that people complain about a lot so like you know how there's those like unblockable resets where if you get a wall splat here wait um um i don't really do them much because i feel like they're unintentional and kind of cheating but um you know those like gravity resets that people do sometimes where like the gravity changes and then they land on this side that was not correct but you know what i'm talking about i'm sure you've seen people do that because it's um a reset on their recovery oops i did it on the wrong side essentially it's where the gravity resets and then they recover sideways and they're not on the ground and they recover and basically there's just nothing they can do about it and they get hit by another full combo because like the weird transition from wall to ground Having being able to have a uh, cancel your recovery into one of your quirk buttons would completely avoid that because then when you do your recovery, you're not being forced into any situation. So, yeah, it's it's weird how I think this change would actually be really good because it'd let people that want to do um resets, to let let them do them more consistently, but it'd also let you get out of like like overpowered and ridiculous resets a lot more easily. <laughs> um and things like um uh. Shoot style Deku's like slide on wake up. People say that that's unblockable because um, you know they recover and then get up. And even though it's not, because you can just get up and, and block like a normal person. <laughs> but like, if you could cancel your recovery, you, you don't get forced into a situation from your recovery, and you actually get to wake up safely. So yeah, that's what I would change about the recovery system. Um, do you agree? Do you disagree? What would you change? <laughs>